Hi everyone, welcome back to Camper Clinic 2's RV Quick Tips. This week we'll be covering propane, uh, something that you'll find on every RV and hopefully we can get you set up for some safe camping. Look forward to seeing you next time. Hello folks, welcome back to another Camper Clinic service video. What we're going to discuss today is some uh, good information, not commonly known facts about propane. Most all RVs have some type of propane container. Motorized vehicles have what are called ASME tanks, which are frame mounted. We're not going to really discuss that today. We're going to mainly discuss the trailer market. In most travel trailers and fifth wheels, they either come with a 30 pound cylinder, which is this larger container, or they come equipped with a 20 pound cylinder, which is the smaller container. Some common facts about propane. It weighs 4.2 pounds per gallon. It's in a liquid state in this container. As long as the outside temperature is above minus 44 degrees Fahrenheit, the liquid in this container will boil and turn into a usable flammable gas. For every gallon of liquid propane in these containers is equivalent to 270 gallons of vapor. Each gallon of vapor contains about 95,000 BTUs of burning capability. So it's very critical that you maintain your propane system. At Camper Clinic, we recommend you doing what is called a leak test on an annual basis before you start using your unit for the year. Also, these items on the table, most manufacturers recommend that these products get changed every five years. Uh, on the back of the product, it also has a date of manufacturing. You should go from that date. It may have been installed in your trailer at a later time. So it could be a year old even though your trailer was brand new, so it might not be five years from the date of your trailer. It might You need to check the date on the back of the product. Also on fire extinguishers, they need to be inspected on an annually basis. Uh, we thank you for your time. Uh, if you have any other service questions with any of these items, please contact us at camperclinic2.com. That concludes our service tip for the day. We look forward to seeing you another time. Thank you.